So let's see how can we identify the primary and secondary side of a transformer. So as you can see in this diagram, if we have two wires on one side and more than two wires on the other side. So the side having the two wires is primary and another side is secondary. This is possible in the case of center trap transformer where we have minimum three wires at the output. So the center one is common and the first and the third one is for particular voltage as we did in the earlier slide 12012. So first and third wire will give you 12 volt and center one will give you 0 volt. If you want to have 12 volt at the output side, you just connect your load to the first and the middle wire, this black one. And if you want to have 24 volt at the output, connect your load between these two blue wires. Sometimes the rating is already mentioned on the transformer. As you can see in this example, here the 230 volt AC 50 hertz is written. So it means this side is your primary side and another side 9 volt 0 9 volt AC is written. So this is your secondary side and this is again a center type transformer as 909 volt is mentioned on it. We can also identify the primary and secondary winding of a transformer with the help of multimeter. So we have some transformer where we have only two wires on both the sides. So in that case you need to use a multimeter to check which side is primary and which side is secondary. So just connect your red and black prop to these two wires and keep your multimeter to the resistance mode or ohm uh, meter range and check the resistance between these two wires. So if the resistance is between 300 to 700 then it is primary winding and if the resistance between 2 and 3 then it is secondary winding. Now question arises why so? Because we already know in step down transformer the primary side have more number of turns. So as the number of turns are more the resistance will be more and at the secondary side we have less number of turns so the resistance will be low. So in this way we can identify our primary and secondary winding using a digital multimeter. Thank you so much.